Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So, today I'm going to show you how to make this shawl here. The Bobbles Run Through It shawl. Isn't it beautiful? I think this is one of my favorites. But to be fair, these are some of my favorite colors right, right here. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty easy. It does have the granny stitch and the bobbles, as you can see. The bobbles, they do run through it. Bobbles aren't hard to do though. And it has a very nice, beautiful Pico edge to finish it off quite nicely, I thought. But that's always something that you can leave off, put fringe or something on if you want. So I'm gonna set my camera down. Now mine is not a huge shawl. I would call it like a medium size shawl. You can definitely make yours bigger if you want. So mine measures from one point to the other. It's about 45 inches across. And then from this top point down here to the bottom is about 22 inches. Um, so yeah, like I said, you can do more or less rows you want to make it smaller make it a cow or use you know make it huge make it a huge shawl it's completely up to you i think though this is a yeah one of my favorite shawls that i've done in a long time i think it's beautiful 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 all right i'm gonna go ahead and move it out of the way um and show you what yarn that i used here so i used um this is from hobby h-o-b-b-i-e it's their butterfly yarn. It's a 100% premium acrylic yarn. Now it is classified as a lightweight number three and they're 547 yards. I used all of one cake. Yeah, I had a little bit left over, but not very much. Um, so if I was to add another cake, it would be a lot bigger, but I just wanted to use the one cake. But one, yeah, one cake made it the size that it is right now. Now you don't have to use this yarn. Any yarn will, uh, any three-way yarn will work um, just fine. You can also use a four-way if you wanted, a two-way. It really is any yarn uh, weight that you want. You know, I really wouldn't do anything super bulky, but like a four, three, two, any of those will work. Just remember, you just can't repeat the rows until you get it as big as you want it to be, to your desired length. The color I have here is color number eight. I think it's called uh, Polished copper or copper and bronze i don't remember but color number eight was my favorite color that they had now this is a self striping cake as you can see there were it's made up of five different colors i did color control my shawl i know some people will ask that when i and i do have a video on how to color control you don't have to do that that's nothing you have to do i'm a stickler when it comes to color control though i almost always do it with all my projects so what it means since i use the self-striping cake um if i had not color controlled the colors would not have ended exactly at the ends of each row i made that happen so um they could have stopped mid row and started another color i don't like i like the consistency of all the colors ending at the row so i cut and clip um so like i said i have a video on how to color control but i just so you can watch that i'll put a link to that below in the description box but that's not anything that you have to do but i know some people always ask me um on some of my projects if i color control or not so i just want to say yes i did color control this not anything you have to do you can use a solid yarn a striped yarn without color control a striped yarn with color control variegated yarn whatever you want it's going to look beautiful regardless it's beautiful i love it i love it okay and then um i use the size i which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook now if you're going to use a four weight yarn i recommend a six millimeter hook and if you're going to use a two weight yarn i would do a um hmm. mm, i think a four and a half or a five depending on the drape you want uh, if you use a five with the two-way yarn it's going to give it a very nice drape um that's probably what i would what i would use if i was going to use a sport weight a number two i'd use a five millimeter for that beautiful drape but for mine with the three weight i used an eye so you want to go ahead and get started on this let's do it all right let's do this okay so we're going to just go ahead and start with a slip knot on our hook and we're going to work a chain of three one two three now we're going to slip stitch back into that first stitch to form a ring just like that then we're going to chain one now that chain one does not count as a stitch it doesn't count as anything so we'll just pretend like it's not even there 
So now we're going to be working through the center of the ring and we are going to work a double crochet. Chain one and then back through the center of the ring we're going to work three more double crochets. So there's one, two, three. Now we're going to make the point of the shawl by chaining two. One, two, and we're going to go back in through the center of the ring and work three more double crochets. So there's one, two, and three. Then we're going to chain one and put one more double crochet back through the center of the ring. And that will end row one. Now you can pull that center or that tail and it should close up that center circle a little bit. And then later on you can sew it together more. Okay, so at the end of row one, you'll have two sets of three double crochets there. And then of course this one double crochet here and this one double crochet here. So let's go ahead and start row two. Row two, we're going to chain one and turn our work. Chain one does not count as anything. Now we're going to go right back into this very first stitch right here and work a double crochet. And then we're going to chain one. Now we're going to work into this first chain one space and we're going to work three double crochets. So there's one. two and there's three and then we're going to chain one now we're going the next chain space is the chain two space so that is the point of our shawl so what we're going to do is go into it and we're going to work three double crochets through that space so there's one two three and we're going to chain two and we're going to go right back into the same space again and work three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Then we're going to chain one and we are going to jump over here to this chain one space here on the end and we're going to work three double crochets into that chain one space. So there's one, two and three and then we're going to chain one and we're going to end by putting a double crochet into our very last stitch and that will end row two and now you'll have four sets of three double crochets there one two three four Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start round three. We're going to chain one and turn our work. Double crochet right back into the very first stitch. Chain one. And then go back into the chain one space right here and work three double crochets. One. Two. Three chain one go over here to the next chain one space and work three double crochets one two three and chain one now you can see the next space is the chain two space so it's the point of our shawl so we're going to work into that space and we're going to work three double crochets there's one two three chain two and work three more doubles into the same space one two three now we are going to chain one and this next chain one space right here we're going to work three double crochets one two three 
chain one and then the last chain one space here on the end three double crochets into that space one two three chain one and end by putting a double crochet into the last stitch and that will end row three and now you'll have six sets of three double crochet one two three four five six okay let's go ahead and start row four row four we're going to chain one and turn pretty similar to the row we just did <laughs> we're going to go ahead and put a double crochet right back into that very first stitch and chain one three double crochets into this first chain one space one two three and then we chain one and we're going to put three double crochets into the next chain one space one two three chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space one two three chain one and now we're at the point of our shawl our chain two space and we're going to work three doubles one two three chain two and three more doubles into that space one two three chain one and we're going to do the same thing over here that we just did over here so we're going to go ahead and put three doubles into our next chain one space one two three chain one three doubles into our next chain one space one two three chain one three double crochets into our last chain one space which is right here on the end one two three chain one and go ahead and end by putting a double crochet into the last stitch that will end row four and now we'll have eight one two three four five six seven eight sets of three double crochet now we're going to do row five which is also very similar to the previous rows so we're going to go ahead and put a double crochet right back into that or chain one i'm sorry chain one and turn and go ahead and put a uh, double crochet right back here into this very first stitch and chain one three double crochets into the first chain one space one two and three and chain one and three double crochets into the next chain one space one two three chain one three doubles into the next chain one space one two three chain one three doubles into the next chain one space one two three chain one and now we're at the point of our shawl so we're going to do what we've been doing we're going to go into that chain two space and we're going to work three doubles there's one two and three and then we're going to chain two one two and work three more doubles into the same spot one two three and then we're going to chain one and we're going to do the same thing over here that we just did over here 
So I'm going to jump to my next chain one space and work three doubles. There's one, two, three, chain one. Next chain one space, three doubles. One, two, and three. And chain one. Next chain one space, three doubles. One, two, three, chain one. And then the last chain one space, which is right here, three doubles. One, two, three, chain one. And go in by putting a double crochet into the last stitch and that will complete row five and you should have 10 sets of three double crochets okay so now we're going to start row six row six starts the repeat rows so six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen don't leave don't leave it's an eight row repeat but that's not hard it's not hard at all okay let's do this come on you got this okay row six we are going to chain one and turn our work. We are going to put a double crochet right back into this very first stitch. And then we are going to chain one. Now in this chain one space here, we are going to work two double crochets. So there's one and there's two. Now we're going to work a double crochet in every stitch and in every chain one space until I get to my chain two space or the point. So here's my chain one space. I just go right through the space and double crochet, double crochet into the next three doubles here. And double crochet into the chain one space. And then double crochet into the next three doubles. So we're going to repeat this until we get to the point of our shawl or that chain two space. I'm almost there. All right, now when we get to the chain two space, now we're gonna put two double crochets. So there's one and two, a chain of two, and two more double crochets. Like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here that we just did over here. We're going to be putting a double crochet into every double crochet and one in every chain one space until we get to the end of row six. And that's where I'll meet back up with you. All right, I'm coming to the end of row six here. So I'm at my chain one space. I wanna go ahead and put two double crochets into this last chain one space so there's one and two and then i want to chain one and end by putting a double crochet into my last stitch and now at the end of around six you should have a total of 48 stitches you should have 24 on this side of your chain two and 24 on this side it's very important that you keep your number your stitch count correct for this pattern otherwise um your stitches will not work out so uh, it's i counted every single row of mine each time i did it that's i would recommend you do the same 
Okay, so let's go ahead and start row seven. Now row seven is the bobble stitch row. So what we're going to do is chain one and turn our work. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put a single crochet right back here into this very first stitch, single crochet. Like that. And then we're going to chain one. And then we're going to work into this chain one space and we're going to work a single crochet into it and a bobble into it so i'm going to show you how we're going to do the bobble so remember we're working it into this chain one space so we're going to yarn over go through the space and draw up a loop and yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook we want to do that a total of five times so that was one again yarn over go through the same space draw up a loop and yarn over and go through the first two loops that was two times yarn over go through the same space draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook that's three times again yarn over go through the same space draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops that was four times one more time we're going to yarn over go through that same space draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook you should have six loops that remain i'm going to yarn over and go through all six loops i like to give it a tug and then we're going to single crochet into the next stitch just like that now we're going to put it we're going to kind of repeat that so we're going to put a like a bobble single bobble single so we're going to put a bobble into the next stitch so we're going to do it again we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook so we want to do that five times that was number one yarn over go into the same stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops that was two times again yarn over same stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops that was three times got a knot in my yarn again we will yarn over go into the same stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops that was four times one more time yarn over go into the same stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops you should have six loops that remain yarn over and go through all six give it a tug and single crochet directly into the next stitch and then we're going to repeat that again so we're going to bobble into the next stitch there's five so I got six loops that remain sorry about my dog yarn over and go through all six loops give it a tug and single crochet directly into the next stitch so this is a pattern we're going to repeat all the way until we get to the last stitch here and I'll meet back up with you at this chain two space so it's bobble single bobble single bobble single now when you flip your work over to the right side there you will see your bobbles are visible so just continue this and I'll meet back up with you right over here. All right, so I have made it to my chain two space or the point of my poncho. And this is how we're going to work the bobble stitch row here in our chain two space. Your last stitch there should have been a single crochet. Now we're going to work into this chain two space. We are going to work a bobble into the space. And then we're going to work 
pull it over a single crochet into the chain two space two and then we're going to chain two one two and work another single crochet into the space and another bobble into the space like that and single crochet directly into the next stitch make sure you pull your bobble back and you're getting in the correct stitch right here single crochet into it so in that chain two space right there we worked a bobble a single a chain two a single and a bobble and now we're going to do what we did over here over here by repeating the bobble or single crochet bobble single crochet bobble repeat until we get over here to our chain one space so I just did the single crochet so I'll put a bobble into my next stitch and a single crochet into my next so we're just repeating this until we get up here to the end and when you flip it look at those nice bobbles it's looking good all right i'll meet back up with you all right i'm coming to the end of row seven and i did a single crochet there and the last stitch before my chain one here so in this chain one space what i'm gonna do is a bobble right into the space and a single into the space. And then I'm going to chain one and single into the last stitch. Now, at the end of row seven, you should have a total of 26 bobbles. So it's okay if your bobbles are all wavy and it's flipping up and stuff, that's fine, that's normal. It'll straighten out once we do the next couple rows. So don't worry about that if it's all bunchy and, and wrinkly, it's, it's normal. It wouldn't be normal if it didn't do that. All right, so let's go ahead and start row eight. Now row eight is probably the most important row as far as keeping count. So let's go ahead and begin. We're going to chain one and turn our work. We're going to put a double crochet right here into this very first stitch, which is the single crochet from the previous row. And then we're going to chain one. Now we have a chain one here, which is very hard to see, but we do have it right there. See it? You need to put two double crochets into that chain one space. It's very little. But you got to make sure you put two double crochets into it. And now we need to put a double crochet into every single crochet and on top of every bobble until we get down here to our chain two space. So there is a single crochet next. It's right here. If you pull it apart, you can see it right here on the side of this bobble. Don't miss it. Go right into it. And double crochet and then we want to put a double crochet on top of the next bobble so yarn over and if you flip the bobble just a little bit you can see right there is the top of the bobble I always grab those two stitches and a double crochet and then we need a double crochet into the next single crochet which is located between the bobbles so if you pull them apart you'll see it right there so make sure you go in and don't miss that single don't miss any of the singles double crochet double crochet on top of the next bobble so yarn over and take your bobble and just kind of flip it up and then i always go through these two stitches right here and double crochet 
double crochet into the next single so right here in between the bobbles you'll see the single and then double crochet on top of the next bobble and double crochet into the next single so I'm going to repeat this pattern until I get to the point of my shawl okay I'm coming down here to the point of my shawl so the bobble that we put into the chain two space we need to double crochet on top of it and then this this part's really kind of hard to see so just take your time here the single crochet that we put here we need to double crochet into it and then the chain two space again which is kind of hard to see is right there we're going to work into that and we're going to work two doubles a chain of two and go back into that same space it's small it's hard to see and work two more doubles so two doubles chain two two doubles into that chain two space and then again you have to look closely because after that we have a single crochet that we have to go into so we got a double crochet into that single and on top of the next bobble and we're going to repeat this now into the next single we double and then to end on top of the next bobble just like we did on the other other side into the next single double and double on top of the next bobble and i'm going to repeat this until we get up here to the top of row eight all right i'm coming to the end here and we have to look closely so i just double crocheted on top of this bobble and then there is a single crochet next to it so we got to go into that and then there is the chain one space it's very hard to see just like it was on the other side we need to go into that chain one space right there and work two double crochets one and two and then we're going to chain one and double crochet into the last stitch and that will end row eight and you will have a total of 64 double crochets you should have 32 on this side of the chain two space and 32 on this side it's very important remember that you have that number okay let's go ahead and start row nine so what we're going to do now is chain one turn our work and we're going to put a double crochet right here back into the very first stitch we're going to chain one and we're going to work three doubles into this first chain one space one two three and we're going to chain one we're going to skip three stitches so one two three skip 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 and in the next stitch we're going to put three double crochets so there's one two and three chain one skip three skip 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 and then the next three double crochets and this is what we're going to repeat until we get to our chain two space chain one skip three skip 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 and in the next three doubles into the next chain one skip three skip 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 and three doubles into the next and i'll meet back up with you when we get to our chain two space okay i'm coming up on my chain two space so i did three doubles chained one and i have three stitches that remain before i hit my chain two space so make sure you chain one after this set skip those three doubles and work directly into the chain two space and we're going to work three double crochets one two 
and three and then we're going to chain two and go back into the same space and work three more doubles there's one two and three and then we're going to chain one and we're going to do the same thing on this side that we did over here so we, we chained one we're going to skip three skip 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 and three doubles into the next two three chain one skip three skip 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 and three doubles into the next one two three chain one skip three skip 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 and three doubles into the next and i'll meet back up with you here at the end all right i'm coming to end here around row nine so i did three doubles i chained one i have three doubles left before my chain one space so i'm just going to skip those three doubles and into this last chain one space i'll work three doubles there's one two and three chain one and end by putting a double crochet into the last stitch like that now at the end of row nine you should have one two three four five six seven eight nine eighteen of these sets of three so you'll have nine on this side and nine on this side let's start row 10. row 10 is actually row 10 11 12 and 13 are actually all the same so we just kind of repeat it so i guess it's a repeat within a repeat <laughs> but it's easy so we're going to go ahead and start row 10 we're going to chain one and turn our work and we're going to go and we're going to put a double crochet right back into this very first stitch and then we're going to chain one and we're going to go back into the first chain one space and work three double crochets one two three and then we're going to chain one and three doubles into the next chain one space one two three chain one three doubles into the next chain one space one two three chain one three doubles into the next chain one space so we're going to repeat this pattern until we get to our chain two space chain one and three doubles into the next chain one space chain one three doubles into the next chain one space and i'll meet back up with you right here at the point of our shawl all right i've made it to my chain two space or the point of my shawl so i chained one after this group of three and i'm going to go directly into the chain two space and work three doubles there's one two three chain two and three more doubles into the same spot one two three chain one and repeat over here what we just did over here so three doubles into our next chain one space chain one three doubles into our next chain one space and repeat Okay, I'm coming to the end of row 10. I did three double crochets there. I am this chain one space. I chained one. Now I'm going to put three double crochets into the last chain one space. One, two, three, and then I'm going to chain one and in by double crocheting into the last stitch. Now at the end of for row 10 you should have a total of 20 sets of these three uh, double crochet so you should have 10 on this side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 10 on this side so you have um, two more than you did the previous row so for 11 
rows 11, 12, and 13, we're just going to repeat row 10, but each, each time we'll have two more sets of three double crochet. So for row 11, I'm going to repeat row 10, and I will have at the end of it 22 sets of three. Row 12, I'll have 24 sets of three. In row 13, I'll have 26 sets of three. But we're just going to do that and repeat row 10. So I'll meet back up with you at the end of row 13. All right, I have made it to the end of round 13, which completes the end of my repeats. And I do have my 26 sets of three. So what I'm going to do is now is I'm going to repeat rounds 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So for round 14, I'm going to chain 1 and turn. And I'm going to repeat, start my repeat at round 6 and 7 and 8 and 9 and 10 and 11, 12 and 13. And I'm going to keep repeating that until I get my shawl as long as I want it to be. Now please look down in the uh, comment section. It'll be the very first comment from me. I will put timestamps at the beginnings of row um, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the repeats. And I will also put the amount of stitches that you should have at the end of um, the rows. So that way you can throw out the back up and everything. All right, so look for those repeats in the, in the comment section. And I'll meet back up with you whenever I get this as big as I want it to be. All right. I got mine as big as I'm going to go with mine. I haven't tied off yet because I'm going to put an edge on mine. But I just did one solid or one whole ball of that yarn and then I stopped. So it's a smaller shawlette or you can use it as, as a front cowl. But you go for as many rows as you want. I did um, one, two, three there's three complete repeat rows for me so i have three rows of bobbles and i ended in a complete repeat so i'm going to do an edge on mine but remember you do more as, as big as you want this thing to be Ooh, it would make a pretty pretty big big shawl okay so what i'm going to do this is my edge if you want to do it you can if not you can tie off and be done or you can add fringe or whatever but this is what i'm going to do for mine so this is my final row. I'm going to chain one and turn my work. So now the front side of my work is facing me. You can see the bobbles there. Okay. So I'm going to go back into this very first stitch here and I'm going to single crochet. Chain one. Go back into this space here. And I'm going to put a single crochet. And then I'm going to put a pico on it. So I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to go back down and slip stitch. Some people slip stitch into the first uh, stitch of their chain three. That's fine. I tend to go into the side. And grab up those two loops like that. And then slip stitch to do my pico. Now that makes a little ball there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put one single crochet in each of the next three double crochets. So there's one, two, and three. Now I'm gonna put a single crochet in this chain one space and I'm gonna put a pico on it. So I'm gonna go right into the space and single crochet and then I'm going to do a pico, so I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And I'm going to go right back down into the side of the stitch. And slip stitch. Like that. And I'm going to repeat that. One single crochet into the next three double crochets. There's one. Two, three, and then into the next chain one space, I'm going to do a single crochet and a pico. So I'm going to go right into it, single crochet, and then I'll do my pico. So I'll chain three, one, two, three. 
And I'm going to go back to the side of the single crochet. And slip stitch. And that will be my pico. Again, one single crochet into the next three stitches. And then in the chain one space, I do the single crochet and the pico. So go right through it, single crochet. And then I do my pico. So I chain three and do the pico. Go right back down into the side of the single. Like that. And slip stitch. One single crochet into the next three. And repeat. So I'm going to do this until I get down to the point of my shawl. And this is just putting this little pico edge on it it's not anything remember that you have to do but just makes it look a little bit fancier i guess but i'm going to continue that down putting a single crochet in every stitch and then i do my single crochet pico in the chain one spaces and i'll meet you down there at the point of the shawl all right so i've made it to my chain two space here or the corner of my shawl so as you can see, I did a pico here in this chain, the single crochet pico in this space, and then I, then I did my three single crochets. Here's my chain two space. So let's see what we're gonna do here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into it in single crochet, and then I'm going to do a pico. One, two, three. Sorry about my dog. And then I'm gonna go back into the same space in single crochet that again the same space I'm going to do a single crochet with a pico <clears throat> again same space regular single crochet and then one more time the same space a single crochet with a pico So that is what I did in the corner. I'll go over that with you real quick. Again. And then I'm going to go ahead and put one single crochet in each of these next three double crochets. One, two, three. So in that corner, I did a single crochet with a pico, a regular single crochet, a single crochet with a pico. A regular single crochet a single crochet with the pico and now um, I'm just going to continue what I did over here over here by doing one single crochet in each of the double crochets and then in the chain spaces I do my single crochet with the pico and I'm going to do this until I get over to the end of the row now if you don't like the way that looks there in the corner feel free to change that up a bit you know, you want to add no picos or more less picos or, you know, it's your show. I always say, I lay it out so you can play it out. I just give you ideas and you can roll with them. So I'm going to continue my pattern repeat until I finish this out. So that's what my corner looks like. I think it looks cool. I like it. So it goes well with the picos on the side. Nice. All right, I'm going to be back up with you at the end. All right, I'm coming to the end. So I did my three single crochets across these doubles. And here I am at my chain one space. So I'm going to go into that chain one space. I'm going to do a single crochet with a pico and then I'm going to go into the space again and put a single crochet chain one 
and I'm going to end by single crocheting into the last stitch and I am going to tie off and hide all my tails and I'll be finished with this beautiful it turned out really pretty I love bobbles so it's one of my favorite stitches oh yeah that pico edge looks nice on there oh that looks great it's beautiful all right I'm gonna hide up some tails <laughs> 